of intelligence. Pa pa pa. Oh, hello there. My name is Karan, and today I'm going to tell you about the basics of special relativity. Before I start doing so, I'm going to introduce the, the co-founders also. As you already know, I'm the founder of this group, but the person who is taking this video has a name called Anirudh, and there's one more who is actually. started when he was just a little kid of maybe 3 to 5 years old he read a story book saying what would happen if you could ride along the tel a, a telegraph wire at the speed of a light and this is exactly what we are going to think about the special theory of relativity the special theory, theory of relativity talks about the moving at the speed of light and how it got uh, how it changes the time of, uh, of your frame. So, so when he thought about that, this this actually uh, was stopped. That means he like he didn't have uh, he couldn't do anything more on that unless he learned a lot of new advanced math. So he was only able to do it after many many years when he was only an adult. So we are going to talk about the first thing in our topic which is time dilation. Time dilation. So time dilation is actually what happens when we go near to the speed of light which is actually or, or approximately 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. That's actually a very large number. So it's very hard to do that. But if we could, it's, we, we would actually observe time moving slowly. So if, a, if time is moving slowly, it's somewhat like time travel. So time travel to the future is actually possible in this theory. Now, I'm going to talk about what happens, a detailed explanation of what happens when we're traveling to the speed of light. When, when we're traveling to the speed of light, our time slows down a little bit. Or let's say it slows down in a fixed ratio which is, which is actually... There are a lot of, a little few variables like this, the speed of light squared and this is your velocity squared and there are more variables. So we are not going to talk about this in detail. So when we are traveling through time, it's not actually like real time travel, it's just our clocks slowing down according to a rest clock which is a clock that's stationary so there's there are also some more side effects your mass actually increases when you're traveling closer and closer to the speed of light so this uh, this causes you to increase your mass which stops you from reaching the speed of light or cr even crossing the speed of light as your mass keeps on increasing increasing your mass would be near to infinity by the time you are about to reach the speed of light so this is actually something very very hard to accomplish within this century but it's possible that we might 
uh, accomplish this within this century. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, keep watching for more uh, educational videos. Thank you.